Hey there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video of Game Gear Linux. This time around I'm showcasing Atom RPG Post-Apocalyptic Indie Game. This was released 19th of December 2018. Uh, currently has 5,194 reviews, 88% of those are positive, which is good. And it is native to Linux. It retails at 10.99, and I think I got it at Christmas for a little bit cheaper. I think I got it for like seven pounds, um, because it it looked like an old Fallout game, and a lot of people suggested to get this. If you, because I wanted to run a game on my laptop, which didn't kill it, and I didn't have to use my gamepad. And a lot of people suggested getting Atom, which is similar to the old Fallout One and Two series. Um, yeah, it looks exactly like that. As you can see here, it seems I think it was made by like Russian devs or something like that. So a lot of the areas are like Russian. So I guess it's like Fallout 1 and 2 mixed with Metro. Um, but yeah, here's my character. I've kind of forgotten how to play the game, so you'll have to bear with me. I'll probably be a little bit slow. But it looks like I've got a gun already. Stuff here. Craft some stuff as well. Well, let's go there. It looks like a, a town or something. Notice three wanderers standing around a campfire. Would you like to stop and have a talk with them? Check it out. Let's, let's showcase the um, the conversations you can have with people. See how the lads are. Let's quick zoom out. Yeah, because I think yeah. So. On the on the road, you seem to like load into these little little small areas and just yes. Yeah. Hi. That does. I I don't see the resemblance, mate. But that's fine. <laughs> you see a serious-looking clean shaven middle-aged man with an almost concealed bald spot and a neatly trimmed mustache. Oh yeah, I mean mustache. Yeah. I like the conversation already. Seems like a nice, nice fella. Com Comrade Markelov. Okay, so you can view the like all the conversation. That's kind of weird. Yeah, if you've never played like the old Fallout One, Two games, then the do involve a lot of reading. The, there's like barely any voice acting or anything like that. They, they are a completely different like game to the open world, Fallout 3, 4, so on and so forth. Like, obviously you can see it's top down, got all these kind of conversations. I mean, they, they incorporate these kind of things in the latest Fallout games, but obviously there's voice acting for if you don't have, if, if you don't want to read too much. It is honestly like playing a book. And then you've got to obviously answer them. I got XP and an achievement. Oh yeah, that's a good point actually. There is 36 achievements. Was it the correct decision? I don't know. I kind of clicked through quite a lot of that. He's got a gun. Talk to him. Huh? These two are cannibals or what? I guess, I guess I'm done here. Bye. <laughs> I feel like I've been to this place. I feel like this is like the first place I've already... Well, I'll have a look and find out. <laughs> Soviet. Soviet Russia. Okay. I go. Ah, here you go, yeah. I need to find Bunker 317. There's an Atom Agent called Fidel. Quite a few minutes. Hmm. 
Hey, I think I've already been here, where I already got a bunch of chickens. Dude, that's an easy, that's an easy one. I can do that. Ask me to bring him some cold beer. Why not help a brother out? <laughs> okay, let's go find the tavern. Is this the tavern here? It's a fair trade. Okay. Hopefully you wanted a beer. I think he said beer. Yes. Here you go, Jan. Nice. That was an easy mission. I like it. I have a gun, so why do I not have it on me? Plot one. Ah, oh, there you go. No ammo? Wait. Well, if I get in a fight, I am probably pretty screwed. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. Okay, as you can see, it's like turn-based. There's no ammo. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah. I'll move then. Move towards him. I missed. Uh oh. D I seriously missed? How am I missing? I'm going to die. Oh, I did nothing. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, at least I can, like, load into it. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think I really need to get ammo from somewhere before making travels like that. But hey, it shows us to combat and stuff. So. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Oh, well. Yeah, it seems like a good game. I'm pretty terrible on it, but if you're looking for a game that's similar to the the old Fallout series, then yeah, I'd recommend it. And it's nice and cheap, so... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Rate and subscribe for future next content. Thank you so much.